Okay, so I'm going to be start. I'm going to go over a few of the snow leopard features that were not exactly demoed in the release at the keynote. First, activity monitor. Now, if you notice in here, my activity monitor shows pretty much nothing. Um, I mean, the list, the list doesn't even scroll. Now, if you compare this to what it looks like on the leopard, you're going to see you know, core audio, you're gonna see a lot of launch D, you're gonna see a lot of different different things going on in the background that you normally, I would normally see, but for some unknown reason, I don't see it here. And you can see QuickTime Player is taking over 100% of my CPU because it is recording, obviously. So let's close that. I'm gonna go into another one, which is an audio MIDI. Now they've completely revamped audio MIDI. Now you can see I've got got build-in output, the build-in input, and then the build-in microphone. And I can change that, it goes up and down. Now, what is somewhat new that I've noticed with Snow Leopard. Within Leopard, you are able to play DTS tracks, meaning Dolby Digital, the 5.1 surround sound, and what it does is it does something called pass-through. Now what pass-through means is it takes it from the build-in output, passes it to the receiver, and then the receiver then decodes it because DTS is protected, it's copywritten. You can't decode DTS unless you have a DTS authorized chip. At least that's how I understand it from reading it from Wikipedia when I did my research for the Apple TV. Now, I was able to play a DTS encrypted audio file natively through Snow Leopard, meaning it did not do pass-through. What it did is it somehow it must have converted it to AC3 in real time because I had to manually turn DTS on within my settings. Now this is pretty interesting because this leads to other features that might be implemented, meaning you might be able to adjust your volume Right now I can adjust my volume right now because I am on the internal speakers. When you have optical audio, you are not allowed to adjust the audio. It gets locked to the highest rating. Now that is because, well, from what I understand, it locks it at the highest rating as a feature and because the audio signal is digital, meaning you can't exactly, you can't exactly take the audio and move it up and down because it's all digital. But at the same time, while running in full digital, if I launch iTunes, I don't know why it's down there, if I launch iTunes, I can adjust the sound to my liking. So it's, it might be a feature implemented, meaning if you're not playing DTS 5.1 surround sound, you might be able to adjust the audio normally like you would. Now this is a great feature because I personally hate using my receiver's uh, remote to do any sort of, you know, changing the volume. Plus I hate reaching down trying to turn up the volume. So this would mean I'd be able to use my media keys on my keyboard to adjust the audio sounds. So that's just uh, another thing I like to demo about Snow Leopard. Um, this is something that might not have been posted, but it has completely changed. So I've I've been I've been looking through Snow Leopard to see what's changed and to report it back to my YouTube user, users and uh, YouTube viewers, sorry, and to post it on IamTheKiller.net. So if you have any uh, features you'd like me to check out, see if anything's changed, uh, leave a comment in the video and I'll try to check it out. Thanks.